welcome back to another Coaster Crazy vlog here from Morecambe. Morecambe. Yes, we're back in our hometown, aren't we, Charlotte? So we're, we're laughing because we, we didn't really plan this. <laughs> just it, it doesn't matter. You can go now, anyway. <laughs> but we're in Morecambe finally. Yeah. If you watched the last video, I don't really know how it went, but yeah, we was planning to go to Southport Pleasure Land, but it was just too busy. We didn't have the time to go round because um, we've come to Morecambe. It's just gone quarter past five now. Oh, it's toilet in Morrison's. Oh. A festival market in the pub. All right, we'll go to Morrison's first. <laughs> yeah. I'll wait, I'll wait yeah. here. We'll wait, we'll wait here. <laughs> we'll wait here. No, we'll wait here. here. Right, know. anyway, I'll give you a little bit of a history about things in Morecambe um, around this area. You've probably watched PT vlogs. If you haven't, go and check him out. He's a really good Northwest YouTuber. Normally covers like Blackpool, does some live videos and things like that. I actually did a live video of Morecambe recently and he walked the whole of the prom and I was commenting saying this and that and telling him all little facts and figures and things like that. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is Morecambe Promenade. You can just see there, we're stood behind this corner here. And this building here is, what is it now? Lidl, Aldi, Lidl. I can't see the sign for it now. I think it's Lidl. It's one of the two anyway. This actually used to be the bowling alley. When I was a teenager, this building here was brand new and it was a bowl, ooh, ooh, and we'll say ooh, ooh. <laughs> It used to be the bowling alley and they knocked it down to build another little which there was already one here I'm sure it's a little it's a Aldi or a little I'll, I'll have a look anyway when we uh, walk, walk around the corner uh, you've, got, you've got the uh, the Morrisons over there I was just saying about Frontierland it's Morrisons that actually own the land for Frontierland which is around the front I'll show you that when we go back I'll get the drone up but it is a little bit windy at the moment so we'll show you uh, show you Frontierland or what's left of it You've got the uh, real cinema just over there. Ooh, everyone say, ooh, ooh, real cinema there. Look at the state of it, all the paints peeling off the side. That's looking a real mess now. Again, I remember that being built when I was a teenager. I actually went for a job interview in there. I actually saw one of my friends in Southport that I went to school with, Andrew Marr. I don't know if he watches the vlogs. He worked there for a bit. He got a job. You got a KFC just across the road there. We'll get a little bit closer in a minute. Just wait to my, for Martin and Charlotte have gone to Morrison, and that's about it. <laughs> that I'm, I'm even, I'm not, I'm, like, I'm laughing, but that is literally it. There used to be a Frankie and Benny's. You just see the building for it, just down there where that really nice blue Ford Mustang is. That was Frankie and Benny's. Um, that closed down quite recently. Uh, there used to be blockbuster videos and things like that. That's all closed down as well. Um, and that's really it. I mean, you've got the Midland Hotel just here, which is an, a really old Art Deco hotel that was derelict for about 10 years. And then a, a company came in and redid it all. So if anyone watches the Bay on TV, uh, the crime sort of, I don't know, it's like a series, isn't it? They just had the Bay 2, which was amazing. Big fan of that. They actually filmed some of the scenes in the Midland Hotel and Morecambe is actually quite a famous place. Famous for Eric Morecambe, who was famous of uh, Morecambe and Wise. Dame Th Th what was her name? Dame Thora Heard. Thora. Thora. Thora Heard. Dame Thora Heard in the Carry On films and things. She was born here. Uh, she's old now and, you know, not with us anymore, but a lot of your parents will so probably she's not know. Old anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and then you had uh, Bubbles Swimming Complex just yeah. down there as well. That's gone. Oh. Uh, yeah, the dome. That's gone. There's a lot of things yeah. in Morecambe. I'm in the train. This is the I'm burning. This is the old train station here. Um, I say old because the new one is down there. So the track used to come up to here. It's um, I'm not sure if it is a weather spoon. It's something like that. It's a pub anyway, just on the other side. But uh, yeah, we'll get down there. We are here for the Taylor's Fun Fair, um, just on the promenade probably have a meal a little bit of a walk around get you some nice drone shots as well it's somewhere where i've wanted to come back to for a long time like a lot of you will know that i moved down south for work purposes because i you know operate tower cranes as well you can see there's none around here uh, the nearest city to us is manchester uh, which is about an hour away maybe a little bit more than that so yeah i moved down south for work but yeah we're here 
in sunny Morecambe. Right, so we've now crossed the road. Uh, we are actually on the promenade, or if you're from, from up north, you'd say prom. Met by Charlotte's sister as well, the one in the one in the middle there. Um, but um, yeah, this is the Midland Hotel. This is the back of it. Like I said, it was derelict for about 10 years. It was looking all right to stay. And a um, local contractor came in and uh, redid it all. Can't remember the name of the company that did it. But yeah, this is what Morecambe's all about really is this amazing view this is Morecambe Bay beautiful is the Lake District right across the road across the road across the bay this is a stone jetty when I was a kid there used to be a little miniature railway just in this section here there's the lifeboat station just over there oh yes here we go this is more like it and again when I was younger this used to be an entertainment space just in here there was a go go kart track and a, like a bandstand just here and cafe and some little rides and things just in here. But really nice. This is what the British seaside is all about. Places like this, nice days like this, nice sunny days. Got the fair on. It's on till September, I believe. I would put a poster up here. In fact, I'll find one and I'll put a poster there for it if you're in the local area i think it's there it should be there if i found one <laughs> but yeah morecambe welcome to my hometown i do miss the place sometimes i really do but there's just there's just nothing here if it wasn't for this fun fair now there's nothing here you've got a couple of arcades um over there cooper's amusements you've got johnny's fun land over there the bowling alley that I told you has been knocked down. They've opened up a new one that's just in the building over there. Never been because I haven't been here for about five, six years or something like that. And the guys are miles in front of me. Surprised I haven't met any, seen anyone that I know yet. Does it look busy? So there's a brand new ghost train cred for me to get on. Uh, this booster, Martin knows all about it. This boost is the first time it's been in the UK. Apparently they're still waiting for the paperwork for it, so that's not operational today. But there's a brand new ghost train cred there. Well, I think it is anyway. It's not been on the vlog, that's for sure. We've got the roundup. I've got, make sure I've got that right. They've got the roundup there. There's a waltzer, there's a ski jump. You've got an old rocker plane over there. Oh my God, a proper rocker plane. Never been on one of those yet. I know David Stratton's a big fan of those. You've got a twister. Looks fairly busy. Yeah, this, this was a site of an old swimming complex called Bubbles. And it wasn't there that long. I remember going when I was younger. Uh, one of my good friend's parents actually worked in there. Because it wasn't making any money, guess what the council did to it? Yes, that's right. They knocked it down. Council's telling you they're the dregs of society when it comes to small seaside towns. It's the council's decisions where things like this happen and things close down. So yeah, because Bubbles wasn't making any money. You can see it was a swimming complex just for the way it's all set out. There was an outdoor section here, slides, wave pool and everything. And then there was the, the dome entertainments uh, venue just here they knocked that down a few years ago as well I think it was 2011 when they knocked that down you get some good you can get some good pictures from up here just get a little pan around yeah I do miss the seaside places that's why we've always liked going to South End and Margate and Portsmouth's a new one of our places to go and visit now here's your cenotaph I don't know if it's making it out, but B&M Bargains over there, that used to be a Woolworths in there. There's your Winter Gardens. Again, that's not been used for quite a long time. I think they've had wrestling matches and things inside, but it's not, it's, it needs fully restoring. It's just so sad seeing places like in Margate and it's all been shut down and they've done nothing to it. It's like that, you know, it's, it's sad seeing places all closed up and closed down and again it's down to the council and and funding but yeah so if there's any any wind noise in this vlog 
it is pretty windy i've got the muffs on so it shouldn't be too bad it's a paid entry that's actually gone some rides so yeah little northward uh, northwest road trip today we're staying in preston tonight and then tomorrow we're going to blackpool pleasure beach as well so looking forward to that so yeah morecambe martin i'm not from here oh charlotte morecambe 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 massive <laughs> morecambe massive right here we go welcome to funland taylor's like i said we've already done one of the rides it was in um coventry which is the uh the little ferris wheel just over there we've already done that i think it's a pound entry yeah pound or no, pound per token right let's get some tokens right so here's your prices just here so i said one pound per token i got the special deal which is 20 tokens for 15 quid so yeah thank you very much just an name out yeah yeah. <laughs> where do you buy tickets there right here we go <laughs> so yeah tokens uh they've got a ghost train they've got the rock rocker plane have you ever been on a rocker plane charlotte yeah you have yeah we, we haven't been on one that faces sideways no we've been on the one that faces no, it's no, it's facing nice forwards up. you know what i mean no but like we sat that way looking out yeah i've uh, never done either of them yeah so oh, we've got cool, that anyway. It does look close, there's no one on that. You've got a ghost train at the back here. It doesn't look like there's anyone on it, but yeah, Joker, I think it's called. I'll go over and have a look, we'll show you what's here. So yeah, tokens, baby. Not been to a Taylor's for a long time. Yeah, the Ferris wheel, we did that. Uh, like I said, that was in uh, Coventry. But it's great to see somewhere like this. I think the last time we came to Morecambe, I think there was this little fair here and it wasn't very busy at all. It was pretty quiet. We just stood around uh, talking. <laughs> I want to get on some rides. We went all the way to Southport and didn't even get on anything. Yeah, so there's your booster. Uh, Max, booster Max. So yeah, uh, let's go on some rides. So yeah, Taylor's Fun Fair. Like I said, I'll get you some footage. We've got the drone in my bag as well. So I'll take the drone up. Yeah, no, I said that, yeah. Cover, cover, nah, we've already done it. We'll go on something that's not being sent round yet. We've got the ghost train. We've got the ghost train. I don't know how you get around there. It's all fenced up in the middle. Yeah, I don't want to show you as well. I've got this new case for my phone. It's a proper Apple case, but it's got a battery connected to it. And um, I've had it on charge all night. I think it's still, yeah, it's not charging now, <laughs> but it's been on, it's been charging itself all day. So yeah, new, new case for my phone. <laughs> We've got a load of juvenile rides, a load of kiddie rides. We've got the Miami there. Again, I haven't obviously seen a lot of these rides here or not seen them a lot before. It said it's open, but the, um, the cash box is all closed off. I know quite a few people would really like this, but yeah, I'm not, uh, I've am not. i never done one before. Old school rocker plane. Heroes, it's called. Wow. <laughs> yeah, basically it's like a Ferris wheel, but you face forward and you have a lever that you can operate in and it'll spin around as that goes around and then you can spin as well and you can put the brake on it's not on it's not on it's got the cash box is closed it's got the cash box is closed look at the cash box it's put a bit of metal in front of it it's closed there's no one in it oh it might be yeah but yeah that looks good got a ghost train as well yeah brand new ghost train cred I don't, they're, they're wanting to go on the ride it's closed i don't i don't know you're doing the miami oh we'll do the miami first then you do the miami 
Miami's? No, I'm not. Eh? No, I'm not. You're not doing the Miami? No, I'm not. I like a good Miami. Oh, this one's Do the Miami. Uh, this looks brilliant, this. I was saying, oh, there's no one on that either. It's just been going around, hasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, look, this is what I'm saying about it. Not put a bit of plate in front of the cash box. It says open on it, but there's no one there. Should we just queue up before they go and make it? There's no one here. It closed. 360. Heroes Ride 360. I think it's called. There's there's no one here. Go wait. They'll come over. Go wait. Go wait. Is it? It's telling me to go wait. There's no one here. Yeah, lovely sunny. Well, it was. <laughs> it still is, but yeah, clouds as well. Catering stalls as well. Probably get a drink in a minute. No one here, Lily. Daddy. No one here. What's going on? No one here, Charlotte. I know. Look at Lily Adam. She's well keen, isn't she? Yeah. She's almost as bad as. Years. Eh? It's been years since I've been on the back. Years. I, she went. I got her on the um, big one. She wasn't big enough, so she stood on the front of my trainers <laughs> to get che on. Cheated. Yeah. And we got on the first ride was at the front as well. Yeah. And oh, she screamed okay. before we got out the station. All the way up. Oh. All the way up the hill. Yeah. Oh. She's been on all the rides with me, so. Yeah. Uh, What's it look feel like being back home? Good Even it? if it's just a few hours. It's good it's better than now, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? it's lovely. Yeah, it's nice to be back. Just waiting for some rides to go on. Right, so there's no one at the uh, the Miami or the uh, Loop of Plane, so we're going on the ghost train first. Brand new ghost train, Craig. Send it! Go straight, Fred!
flat ride. That was awesome. Alright, there you go, ski jump. I got a new favourite flat ride. Well, one of them. That was awesome. What an old school machine that was. Brilliant. You got airtime on there. You lifted yourself off the track. Superb classic ride that. Really, really good. And they're very rare now. It's not very often you see ski jumps in a fair. So I've got a few tokens left. Might even do asteroid while I'm here. What did you think to that? She screamed at the end. We're doing asteroids. One of them is Kennywood. What? It's ski jump. Ski jump. So on the top, the track jumps off. So you I jump actually off. jump off it. Yeah. Wow. It Crazy. Might do the asteroid. What do you reckon? Charlotte? Asteroid? Waltzer? Well, they're waiting to send asteroid, and then you got waltzes going around. So I don't know, but that's it. Uh, Schedule was amazing, really, really, really good. Love that. Right, I'm not keen on him, but I'll give it a go. I like the theme to it. So is it asteroid? It's very loud as well. Yeah, mate. Message me saying, would I ever do a video about my tattoos? Well, so there's a Yoda and all that. I've got one on my leg here anyway. But on my Star Wars on my leg. So what you do with these, you get yourself. Oh, click on click that. Get yourself in there. Oh, she's coming on. Yeah, you go next to me. Put yourself underneath. Oh, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, just hold on tight. You definitely don't fall out. No, G-Force. So yeah, this is Lily, this is Charlotte's sister. Yeah, there she is. You, know, you can do that, you see. You're upside down, you won't fall out. I love all this, Charlotte would like it, eh? she likes Star Wars, doesn't she? You can, I don't know, you can put, put your legs up like that. We're gonna get shot, we're gonna take you leave. But you won't be able to move when he gets picked up, you won't be able to move. Here we go. Attention! One of these at Morecambe Frontierland. I mean, I've said it before. Oh, here we go. Here we go.
my god!
Those waltzers were bloody good. Really, really good classic waltzer. Really fast as well. The music here is so loud. Really, really loud. But uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going on next. It's good to see the friends from, uh, from the shore. From the shore. I had to ask them, I forgot. <laughs> you know what I'm though? But yeah, from the shore. They used to work with Baz for about about 20 years ago. Yeah. In an arcade that was down the prom a bit. Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jacks, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I they, remember every time when either you were in the booth or I were in the booth, the other one would have walked past again. Yeah, oh, yeah, love you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this guy, what he does for like a hobby, he dresses up in a predator outfit, full predator outfit. So if you ever go to a convention, comic cons, that sort of thing, and you see a guy dressed up in a in a predator outfit, full predator, it's normally Baz. Yeah. And uh, Tina just follows with a camera, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. What's he saying? Record pill swim workout. I have a big swimming. What's it going on about? There used to be a swimming pool here. The one. Yeah. Bubbles. Yeah. That's weird, is that? Uh, yeah, ghost train. That is weird, that. Look, you see it there. Record pill swim. I haven't been swimming. Here, Charlotte. Look at what we look at what we watch is saying. No, oh, where's it gone now? What's it say? It looks like you're working out. Record record pill swim. I've been swimming apparently. It must have been that waltzer where it's been doing that. It is, isn't it? First time it's ever done that. Uh, yeah, probably do the Miami and maybe the Ferris wheel. Yeah, I don't Ferris know. Wheel. Ferris wheel, get Mine some views. Wheel, yeah. Get some views. Yeah. Do you want to come up Ferris wheel? Will I fit on Send it. Wheel? Will you fit on it? I don't know. Yeah. It's tall. I'm quite it's big. It's almost as tall as Connor. Yeah. So how tall, tall are you? Six five. Six five. Who? Six five. Who? 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 Six five. Six five. Six five. Who? Who? <laughs> Six five. Tall as Baz. How tall? How tall was uh, Peter? Thingy, the predator. Was he seven foot two or something? Yeah, he was seven two. Seven two. Yeah. Peter Hall. Yeah. Massive guy. Yeah, the, the original Predator, seven foot two he yeah. was. He was massive. Yeah. But yeah, I don't not think we're getting on rocker rock or plane. Yeah. Are we Charlotte? No. Not doing rocker plane. Did you just continuously spin on that? Yeah, I couldn't get off it. Were you all waiting for me? No, no, I was constantly I got a jumped off. He jumped anyway, off. but just yeah, the, down the operator went back spinning. inside. He was, the operator was actually spinning the cars as well, and he went back inside the op panel to stop it. And um, I was, yeah, I, I kept spinning, but it was a five-minute cycle on there. It was a, it was a long oh. cycle on there. Oh, and we need to give a big shout out to Charlotte. Why? Because she looks after you on most of rides. She does, yeah. She does, <laughs> she does yeah. So your fans always, the fans of the channel as well. So you know Charlotte and mine yeah, yeah. from watching the vlogs. If you do see us around, come and say hi, get you on the telly. Well, now Baz is now on the telly, but he's already on the telly. I'll tell you what I'll do, it's down here below, from the shore. There you go, you got a big plug from your channel. From the shore. I think Tina does most of the vlogging though, don't you Tina? I do all the vlogging. You do all the vlogging, yeah. They normally cover like Morecambe stuff, Blackpool, check them out. It's on, it's, it was there, it was there, from the shore. Right, I think we've got to do the uh, the Miami now because there's nothing else we can go on other than the Ferris wheel. But no, really good here. Really enjoyed it so far. Can we do Miami, Lily? We can do. Why did you do Walsa? Because I'm busy. She said the cat cup. How was the uh, asteroid? Yeah, asteroid. I didn't really get your run. reaction. Eh? I, I enjoyed it, but I felt awful after. Uh, Lightweight, she hasn't had a lightweight Martin, yeah. isn't it, Martin? She hasn't had anyone to go past with. Why were you going in Martin? Um because lightweight. Right, we're going on the uh, we're going on the Miami now. Because we Martin. think there's not yeah, enough room it? on this one, we'll have uh, to go on next uh, one. Ne next next rotation we'll be on it. And then we'll do Ferris wheel, see if uh, Tina and Baz wanna come on with us as well. Oh my god, it's quick! Wow! 
Let's go the other way. Uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> Woo! Wow, it's fast. No wonder he's got over the shoulder restraints on it. Wow, you have air time on it. Taylor's Ferris wheel. I'm just saying it's rocking like Disney's Wonder Wheel. It's amazing. Look. <laughs> right. Proper ride, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had a good look, good time here at this fair. After this, I think we're going, but it's nice to meet up with uh, Baz and Tina from from on the shore. From the shore. Like I said, it was down here. Yeah. You saw the link. From the shore. From the shore and then yeah. I think we're going for a meal. Uh, honey tree is somewhere I don't really know yet yeah. but we will be, we will be back soon in July I think I think we're coming yeah. back July time we we're actually staying in a posh hotel that was on the telly on there four in a bed in Cumbria somewhere but they that's the best thing about Hall of Morecambe I don't care what I say about the place you know but that is the best thing about Morecambe is that view across the bay it's absolutely amazing it's just weird being back after so long and seeing friends again that I haven't seen for a long time there they go we're on it friends work old work friends yeah. ghost train was good we've had some good rides there there's everyone else on the other gondolas up there <laughs> so yeah we rode this one in Coventry uh, a few weeks ago hopefully we'll get more than three laps or whatever it was watch your hand on there <laughs> get your hand caught on there big line of people coming in as well now yeah, that's good, yeah, big line of people. So we just had to get some more tokens for this. So in total we spent quite a bit. Um, initial, well, I think it was, what was it? 10 pound for 15 tokens of, well, something like that. And I did, I've just spent another nine pound to, for another nine tokens or something like that. So it was a pound a token. Where's the, where's the guys at? I don't know, see them, they're down, they're down there. Nice to see Lily Allen as well, or Lily Ann, Charlotte's sister. <laughs> we had a lovely night here, isn't it? It's in the summertime. You can't beat Morecambe, can you? You really can't. You know, for the views and everything like that. I like to say the bay. The bay, yeah. It's the best bit about Morecambe. Really, I'm in Asian. Um, in summertime, it's that quiet. Yeah. yeah, it is a quiet place, isn't it? Really quiet. Yeah, but even now at night time, there's, there's no one about really. And it's, you get the old people coming to walk around, but because of the fair, so it's bringing people out, which is really good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Morecambe yeah, needs a permanent attraction like this. It does. And something that we've said for a while is they should have a, a, a proper big Ferris wheel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. A, a massive Ferris wheel, because the view, I mean, obviously this isn't tall enough, but you get the view of the Pennine and the distance yeah. and the Lake District over there. I mean, this is just a small scale one, um, but a big permanent Ferris wheel oh, or yeah. a observation yeah, yeah. tower. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we got rid of the Polo Tower, which was a shame because yeah. that was yeah. an old school Intamin ride, that, yeah. and all, you know, it used to be a black belt. But saying that after the years of it running like it was, they didn't keep up the maintenance no, on it. No. So towards the end of it, it was a rickety old place. It was, and it was used so, as a phone mast, wasn't it, yeah. for a long time. Yeah, but yeah. it was very sad, the Polo Tower was literally across the road. Like I said, I'll get more footage of Frontierland, but Frontierland was just over there. Yeah. Baz used to work there. They've got some old school items, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah which might be stuff. worth quite a bit of money if you stuck yeah. them on eBay. Right. 
Um, it's not like I'd buy them anyway, I ain't got any room. Um, but no, uh, we had the Polo Tower, which was an observation tower, and they sold it for scrap metal to China. Very sad, they just came and cut it all apart. And, but the Morecambe has, any, has, has got nothing really, apart from you got Pleasureland over there, which is the arcade I told you about. And the bowling alley above it, but that's it, there's yeah, not much here, that's is it, there? Really. Uh, you yeah. can have a nice walk up the prom, yeah. some really good fish and chip shops, oh, though. Yeah. Some yeah. of the best in the UK, yeah. Yeah. in my opinion. I've worked all over the UK. Yeah, yeah. Some of the best fish and chip shops in the in the UK is in Morecambe. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got yeah. some really nice Chinese restaurants, Indian restaurants. It's nice for a meal out, isn't it, yeah. Morecambe? Nice place. Oh, Anybody yeah. like me, it's like, I like to, I enjoy fishing. Yeah, so, yeah. You've always got the tide. Yeah, when the that beach. Comes in, you've yeah, got sea fishing. Yeah. yeah, you can see the boats shrimping out there, and you know, oh god, oh, oh here we are, Wonder Wheel again. Oh, oh, oh. But, um, um, yeah, you've also got the Lancaster Canal, which is coming yeah. through. Get yeah. some good fishing off that. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, Mom, yeah. I like Morecambe. It is. It's a nice oh, town, and it's cheap to live here as well. You can get a house here for around a hundred thousand yeah. pound. No yeah. joke. Uh, people think yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. Um, my house, I actually had a bungalow here in Morecambe, a two bedroom bungalow, and I think that was 113,000. Yeah. Down where we live now, near High Wycombe, you're talking 300,000 for a house. It's crazy yeah. prices. Well, yeah. well the petrol, really believe it or not, the petrol's just the same price as it is down it's south, cool, yeah? yeah. yeah. Two, uh, what was it, 127, 127 a litre? Yeah. Or something like that, yeah, it's about yeah. the same. So people say, oh, it's more expensive down south. It is to buy a house, but everything else yeah. is, is just the same. You know that if you've got petrol. Yeah, well, it's more. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's it. We've finished the uh, Taylor's Fun Fair here in Morecambe. Yeah, just been on the really nice little Ferris wheel there. It, like I said, the Morecambe really needs like a big staple attraction, all year round attraction. A massive Ferris wheel here would do really well. It's a shame they haven't got anything like that because the views from here, from Orkham, are some of the best in the UK. And I will always say that, that view across the bay, looking at the Lake District, are amazing. But anyway, there we go, really good fair, like I said, it's on till September, I believe. Some really good rides here. There's a couple of rides that have not been opened today. Apparently, they're still waiting for some paperwork for the Booster Max. Uh, there you are, hello. Hi. Still waiting for some paperwork for the Booster Max. but. Not? I'm not live now, but I am a YouTuber, yeah. There you go. Coaster Crazy. There you go, on it. Coaster Crazy. <laughs> Coaster Crazy. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Coaster, what is it, Tina? Coaster Crazy. What is it, Baz? You see, you see them, look there. Yeah. They're on Coaster Crazy and they're on telly. They're on yeah. the telly now. Uh, go subscribe. Go subscribe. Go subscribe to these guys as well. Like I said the link's in the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it was really nice to see you. Yeah, it's yeah, good well, to for see For the first you. time, yeah. actually, and I've seen Baz for 20 years. That's all right. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little fair, innit? I enjoyed that. It's yeah. nice. It looks like it might rain as well over there. It's not raining. It's not raining. It's grim up north, it's apparently. Raining. It's not raining. Yeah, just a tad. To be honest, it's a bit grimmer down south. <laughs> <laughs> We've had nothing but rain down there this year. Oh. But there we go. Um, I'm going to get the drone up for a bit. Um, and before we go, before I wrap it up, we've got to go back to the car and I'll show you a bit of the frontier land as well. But I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the fair. We'll probably get a drink now. Woo! It's been a good one, though. Right, so we're back over here at the uh, the old site where Frontierland used to be now. Um, so yeah, in a minute, I've just got to get the drone up. I did actually film some pre-flight stuff over at Taylor's Fun Fair. And we really enjoyed it there. It's really good to come back to Morecambe, actually go on some of the fair rides and things like that. Some we've never done before. But yeah, this was Frontierland. This was my home theme park. You see in the bag, I've showed you the bag and there's some posters and things up on the wall that's just to do with Morecambe like I said Dame Th Dame uh, the Thora Heard. With the water tower on it. Oh yeah yeah the there's a mu floor. mural over there on with a yeah the cable car used to come across the road the Polo Tower was just in here somewhere. Polo Tower's on this one. Oh yeah there's some oh there you go yeah just a little wall over there but you got some stuff from Morecambe Laser Mary Morecambe statue which is just a bit just a bit further down the promenade you've got Eric Morecambe and you've got all these sort of murals and stuff and it's really nice that they've actually put this in or oh, something's happened on end of 
under the jetty down there the uh so the helicopters just come out and there's police and stuff down there always kicking off around here i'm telling you so there's dame thora heard over there picture of that well yeah i obviously can't show you anything can martin can martin can uh what well yeah there's not much here now but the helicopter's back out just up there you can get through the fence i think but the concrete base where the log flume is still here you can still see the concrete base and the foundations for the polo tower there you go well put it put your strap on yeah. put your strap go on, on put the strap on and then stick it through there you go Sad, really sad. Such a shame. I loved Frontierland. He never went. He never went. Look at all the seagulls over there now. Amazing. But that's it. That's the end of the vlog. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Bit of insight of where I'm from, the, the, the fair. I've got, I've, I have got some drone footage, so that'll be coming up after this. Um, but yeah, we're going now. Uh, tomorrow we're going to Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the first time this season. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. You know, it's nice to come back to Morecambe and um, get on some rides at the Taylor's Fun Fair. It's been an interesting one. Um, but don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Click the notification bell for next time I upload another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.